Hi there, my name is Chris, sales manager for Sony Vision in Bolton. We're going to have a look today at a new model from Sony. Two models in this range, the KDL32 CX523 and the KDL40 CX523. So, two screen sizes there, 32 and 40 inch. The specification is the same on both models, apart from one factor, which is the power consumption. The power consumption on the 32 inch is 72 watts, and on the 40 inch it's 120 watts. So let's have a brief rundown on the specification first of all for you. Well, firstly, they are full HD, so they'll call with 720p, 1080i, and 1080p resolution. They've also got the latest Freeview HD tuners built into them. At the moment on here now, we've got channel 4 HD, but you've also got the option on here of uh, BBC HD and also ITV HD as well, as long as they are broadcasting this service in your region. They've also got uh, Sony's X-Reality um, engine built into them, so even if you are watching standard definition TV, not high definition as we're doing now, it will upscale that image quality for you, so the picture quality you are getting, even from a standard F image, is almost HD quality, it is that good. They've also got internet facilities built into this TV, so you've got various web facilities that you can access as well, which we're going to be taking a look at in just a few moments. On the sound stage, you've got various sound options on this TV, which we'll go through as well. It's 2 times 10 watts on its sound output. Before we go into the menus and have a look in a bit further detail um, into this particular model, we'll just take a look at the sockets on the rear of the TV. First of all, you've got your coaxial socket, so it's got a Freeview HD tuner. Ethernet port, so you can uh, hardwire this for internet services. Single SCART at the back. Component in, which is the uh, red, green, blue connection with the audio input for components. A lot of games, consoles and DVDs still use components. You've then got three HDMIs uh, just at the rear of the TV and a digital optical out. So if you want to take the sound out of this TV through an external amplifier, you can do uh, through this socket here. On the side of the TV, you've got a USB socket here and you've also got another one here. So you've got two USBs, of which on the second uh, USB you can also connect uh, external hard drives for doing any recordings from any TV content you may be watching. And you've also got a fourth HDMI, so four HDMIs on this particular range. You've then got the uh, D sub socket for a PC in and you've also got a headphone socket on here as well. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, a bit more in depth on uh, what this particular range of TVs will actually uh, give you. First of all, they are uh, both uh, LCD. Um, you've got um, full access to the menus on the remote control uh, using either the options button on here or through the home button. You've also got the manual controls down the side here, so you've got full on-screen menus if you want to uh, operate the TV manually as well. But on the remote control, first of all, you've got uh, a button here that states options. If we go into the options menu, it puts up various uh, menus down the side of the screen here. So, uh, first one on the list is picture. If we press OK, which is the centre button on the remote control here now, it will take us into various picture settings uh, onto the TV set itself. I'll tell you now, I mean, this is the 32 inch version we're showing here. Uh, the amount of variation that you can get um, in the picture on here, you can alter each primary colour, red, green, and blue. Um, you can alter the gamma ratio on the TV. A lot of adjustments that you can make to the picture. First of all, if you are in any of the preset modes, such as Vivid, if you come down the scale here, you've got the usual adjustments for backlight, contrast, brightness, and colour, and so on down there. As we come further down that scale, obviously, you've got sharpness. You've then got another one down here which states uh, advanced settings, which is basically, at the moment, it's blanked off so you can't actually access that. If we try to get into that, no, it says not available. If you want to get into the advanced settings on the TV, where well, you can make all those uh, fine adjustments to the picture. If we go back up to the top settings up here, back to where it says um, picture mode, and go into custom, as you come down these settings now, we can get into those advanced settings for you. So we come back down to advanced settings, press OK, and then we've got various other uh, uh, options that we can get into. So you've got things like black corrector, advanced contrast, um, that's on high at the moment. Uh, we can alter that or switch it off completely. As we come further down there, we've also got um, clear white adjustments, white balance adjustments. When you go into the white balance adjustments, you've then got adjustments for your three primary colours for red, green and blue for gain and bias. And yet again, you can alter those, just highlight it and you can alter any one of those on the scale on the screen and so on. You've also got um, the option of a manual default. So if you think that you've adjusted it, it's not quite right, you can also default it back to manufacturer's uh, specifications. So a lot of adjustments on there uh, that you can make 
to the actual picture itself. Detail enhancers, edge enhancers, a lot of tweaks that you can make to the overall image. So you can really sort of set it up to, uh, to exactly how you want it. As we come further down that scale, if we go into the other menus, um, go back into the options menu, you've got adjustments then for sound. As we go into the sound menu, uh, you come down here and you've got things like clear voice. If we go into that, you will have adjustments there for standard and dynamic as well. If you do go into clear voice, it does bring out the vocals uh, more for you. So uh, if there's any background noise, it tends to cut down on that and enhance the vocals for you as well. But yet again, you can go into um, the independent settings for bass and treble and adjust that to uh, however you want it. And you can also force the sound uh, out of the TV for... Uh, basically surround sound off, so it's just standard stereo sound, um, or surround sound as well. If we go back into those menus again, into the options menu, and come further down that scale, you've also got nice little features like track ID. If you're watching something on TV, it might be an advert, uh, and there's a music track playing, if you want to track ID and access that, it will actually tell you what piece of music it is that's playing as well, so a nice little feature there as well. As we come further down that scale, um, we'll come just out of that for a moment. You've also got um, things like twin picture, which you've got uh, picture and picture or picture in picture. So if you are watching uh, the TV itself and you've got maybe um, a satellite box connected to this or any external device, you can have a picture in picture situation. So you can have whatever you're watching on the screen here from its own internal tuner and another picture on here from an external tuner as well. And if we just access that now, you can have your picture on here and maybe the picture, say, from a satellite box or something over here as well. That's through the options menu, which is just on the keypad just here. If you go into the home menu, which is the blue button just here, yet again, it puts all your menus on the screen down here. And as we go along to these different menus, it indicates what they are on the screen, as we can see here. As we get down to here, you've also got internet content. So as we looked at before, you've got an Ethernet port on the back of this TV. You can also do this wirelessly as well. If you've got a wireless dongle from Sony, they are available uh, through our cells. So just contact Sony Vision, we can supply wireless dongles for you. Just plug into the USB socket, you can access all this material wirelessly. Um, you've got various then options through um, the uh, internet facility on the TV. So you just jog along, highlight what you want, such as BBC iPlayer, and it will start to load up that particular service for you as well. You've also got Skype facilities through the TV. Um, yet again, if you make Skype to Skype uh, phone calls anywhere in the world, they are free of charge. You'll just need a camera from ourselves, uh, which gives a call. We can supply cameras for the TVs uh, as well. It's no loaded um, BBC iPlayer uh, on there now. So yet again, you'll just search along various program content, anything that you may have missed, and just access that, just highlight it, press OK, and you would be onto that program. So there you have it. I mean. An excellent range uh, of TVs here, 32 or 40 inch, with superb facilities. They're on display in both our Bolton and Leeds stores. If you'd like more details on these, please give me a call. My name is Chris on 01204 861 861. Or go through to our website, which is soundinvision.co.uk. You'll find a lot more details on there. That's soundinvision.co.uk. So give me a call. Said, My name is Chris on 01204 861 861. Thank you. <laughs>